Okay, I almost forgot about the side yard. I figured I'd give you guys an update on that. See how that's doing. Although kind of hidden, there are my walking onions, my beautiful coneflowers, my little pink ones peeking back there. <laughs> and uh, I ended up planting my different, I finally got my plants in. So there's the loofah. That's loofah. Those are carrots. What I had left over. These containers are not really doing much. So what I'm planning to do is taking this jute, putting it from here into the dirt and letting that soak. Trying to put it in the shade because I can guarantee you it will evaporate immediately. And then I got some verbena. Bring the good bugs over. This over here is, I think, also verbena, but this is, nope, that's not verbena. What was this? This is, oh boy, trailing something. Trailing. Oof. Oh yes, it is, it is verbena. It's just trailing verbena. Well, I guess that's regular verbena, whatever. But the purple verbena. Um, and here I planted my... I think these are supposed to be watermelons. <laughs> yeah, they didn't make it. I planted something over there, but it died. It's too hot. It's too, not enough water. Over here were supposed to be peppers, and I think they are now all gone. Yeah, they did not make it as well. I definitely need a better irrigation system. I don't want to use a soaker hose because I think it's too much. Um, over here is where I had my ginger and my um, turmeric. And you can't tell that it's doing anything, but when I planted this verbena, I accidentally got a root of turmeric, and it's definitely growing roots, so we're good there. Now I'm probably walking through spider webs here. Yes, I can see them already. Here are my tomatoes. And my tomatoes are doing considerably better than the other plants, but tomatoes have always been very uh, hardy. I've not really mess them up too much unless I just didn't get them in fast enough. So here are my, those are supposed to be the uh, summer sandwich. I don't know if they're going to do anything. I could probably put in new seeds and they'll do much better than those seeds there. These are my brown berries. That one is kind of, kind of coming up, but not really. They're just kind of stunted where they are. That over there is my husky cherry red. And I mean, it's very difficult to see them. Can't even get them on camera. <laughs> yeah, there it is. This little tiny plant. And this little tiny plant over here. Husky cherry red. Over here are my San Marzanos. Those did not do well. I think I had like six of them. Yeah, I think I'll just put sunflowers in here. This was a mix of whatever I had left over that I didn't remember because I had taken the labels out before I unplanted them. And over here is supposed to be my uh, snowberries, the yellow ones, and yeah, there's hardly there's this little tiny thing there. Right there. <laughs> so yeah, I'll probably just put sunflowers in here and maybe some marigolds. <laughs> just keep the pollinators happy. These are my surprise onions. I grew them two years ago. Nothing came up the next year, and this year, there you go. I have at least three, uh, maybe some smaller ones, but yeah, at least two big ones. Maybe three big ones, and we'll see what the other ones are. And look at my surprise um, basil. When it's warm enough, all the seeds that drop will just pop up here. But June is pretty late, so. And here is my un unwieldy oregano. Oh, the bees? The bee Look at this bee. The bees love the oregano. They love the oregano. So I leave it up. I was going to trim it back, but the bees love it so much. As long as it's not affecting the walkway, which, I mean, <laughs> this is not really a walkway, but it's fine. They love it. I'll, I'll, I'll let them have it. This, oh, I don't know if you could really see it because of the crazy greenery around it. But this is my blueberry plant. This was left 
in the clearance rack, 90% off. Look, somebody didn't want this blueberry plant. I don't know why. And literally, I probably paid like $10 for it. I know it says 90% off, but I went to Lowe's and it was very busy. The woman who was there was working past her, the end of her shift, and she had had it. I bought six plants for $40. She charged me, I think, 30 for this, 10 for the rest, and she was like, don't even worry about it. So yeah, if, yeah. I am I'm happy to I'm happy to pay forty dollars for this plant because but well it looked dead, it looked horrible, but I know what to look for for all of my um all of my watchers who love musicals. If you've ever seen The Secret Garden, you know if a thing is wick <laughs> you know that it'll still grow. And basically you just look for the buds. And these had buds like this. There were no leaves yet, but they had buds. And I knew, I knew it was a good plant. And what happened? I took it home. I put it in this nice sunny area and there were no leaves before. And now look, all of these leaves, these are all new leaves. And this is my mint, my weedy mint. <laughs> but this is the plant that I pruned. And when I pruned it back, I got at least 10 plus plants. In my basement and I'm rooting those so that I will get 10 more blueberry plants so yeah I am happy to pay $30.98 hands down but this is my weed bed right here <laughs> there's a rosemary bush over there that I cut back year after year and it did not come back at all this year which is fine because you know what I never use rosemary I have it in my cabinet and it's I out of all the spices that I have I never use it the mint here, I just leave because it's it's cool and it smells good. And these plants, these are weeds, but these flowers are absolutely gorgeous. Look at I love these flowers. I want to press them for uh, my paper crafting, but I always forget. And by the time I remember, it's already August and November or something like that, and you know what? They're gone. So I should I should harvest some plants. <laughs> And these are my beautiful, I get these every year. They're dark red and against the fence, it's such a stark contrast and I love it. I tried to get it trellising because it does wind up and crawl on certain things, but it's very picky about what it uses as a trellis. Um, one year, and I'll have to look for pictures, one year I created this witchy, very gothy looking trellis out of the branches that I had left over over there and I'll, I'll bring you to the section in a minute but there were branches over there and I put them all together I tied them together with yarn and I made this beautiful looking stick trellis and this plant loved it it would it would wind up around it and it would do all types of crazy things so i think what i will do next year because i do plan on bringing this inside or at least in a heated greenhouse um, what i would love to do is put it on a uh, either bamboo or something with with bark because i think it enjoys that as a climbing medium and then have you know some kind of trellising archway because having these flowers all along the fence would be gorgeous but i don't want to connect them to the fence because the fence is not in the greatest shape and who knows what might happen <laughs> but yeah so blueberry oh what is the name of this plant this is a mandevilla mandevilla and uh oh, more bees here are my strawberries oh, that's where i harvested my potatoes which by the way this is a fantastic place to grow potatoes they loved it um, I might end up putting garlic because I think garlic goes well with strawberries, which is hilarious. Um, but I have all my organic garlic. This is right now empty. And uh, yeah, I would like to fill it with something. Um, my first chance at uh, rotating crops for the vegetables. 
um, these strawberries are just doing their thing. Eventually they should get some more flowers and we might get some more strawberries. This is my no-nonsense composting bin. I just throw everything in here and I just started throwing in junk mail. One thing to remember, do not shred your plastics. It would be really easy for me to just shred the entire envelope and let it go, but I have to painstakingly go through each piece of mail and only put stuff that's matted or it's, it's got a matte finish um, because any of the shiny magazine-like inserts or anything that's really thick cardboard that's got that shiny uh, exterior, I don't trust because there could be some plastics in there. Um, I know the dyes are soy-based and they're supposed to be okay, but the covering to preserve the ink may be plasticky, so I don't take that chance. All of that is just paper. It could be um, stuff that I've printed out. It could be junk mail. It could be flyers, anything that's, you know, safe. And as you can see, things are growing in there, so it's not harmful. I also throw my eggs in there. They, like, boil them, do all types of things, bake them or whatever. I don't even bother. I just put them in there and just let them biodegrade. <laughs> yep. And that is... Oh, look at this here. I love coming outside or looking out my bedroom window and I see those beautiful flowers. So bright. I love it. And uh, that's my side yard. Thanks again for watching. Okay, let's see if we can do this with one hand. I am going to make a wicking system by using these jars, which I thought would seep the water slowly into these beds, but they don't. So I'm going to use this jute and I'm going to put them in so that they have a wicking system. And the plate and being on the fence side of the bed should allow the shade to protect the evaporation from happening because the sun is strong here in Georgia and if that gets wet the sun will immediately and I do mean immediately dry it off because it does the dirt all the time so I'll show you what I did really quick I'm gonna see if I could do this with one hand I cut this twine about that long I don't know maybe about like two feet cut it a piece of rusty ass scissors And I'm going to fully submerse it. That is a little cloudy because I put the, um, whatchamacallit, I put the mosquito stuff that's okay for bird water feeder things. Bird bath. And I will refill these. So we'll see, it's nice and wet. And then I'll pull this up. I'll put it underneath. Now it is wet there, so I don't know, it may be wicking, but I don't know, it's not enough. So I'm going to help it along a little. And that's it. I'm going to do that for all of these. I've already got those three done. That's a fourth. And then I'll just do the rest. And then I will top up the containers of water.